The sunset is beautiful. Like I wish this building wasn't in the way. And it really just adds to the bathroom experience. At night, this is such a vibe. That just broke. I have been so excited to make this video for the longest time. I have been kind of hesitant to make this video because for the longest time, this apartment wasn't up to my standards to show you guys. This apartment was pretty bare. It didn't really have anything. It didn't have a bed. It didn't have a desk. It didn't have anything. You know, you can actually see me build all of these things on my channel from my bed to the desk to putting things in the bathroom, to putting up the LEDs. We are doing my fully furnished downtown Miami apartment tour. Let's get into the video. I am so excited to show you guys. Let's go. Oh, no. Why did I decide to get on the floor? I'm getting old. All right, let's go. So first, let's start off here, which is my front door. This is the only place you can come in. So if anybody tries to break in the apartment, trust me, bro, you're not gonna get far. There's only one way to get in, and you're gonna get got, trust. Now to the right of me, we have my washer and dryer. If you are here, it does come this little cool beep effect. When it does get done cleaning, it comes with this little cool, like song effect beeping noise, which is really cool because it does give me hype to actually go do laundry because I know I'm gonna get a little song at the end. So, you know, maybe I'm a little weird, but to me, it's a cool feature. So I'm gonna turn it back off. So cool. So coming over here, next up, we're gonna have the most disgusting area, but to me, the most beautiful. Now it is a bit dark in here, not because I'm trying to murder you guys or scare you guys, but because as you can see, it has this nice, LED effect. So let me actually turn the light on for a second. So usually in the bathroom, it's not a fun experience. You know, you kind of want to get in, get out. But for me, with the LEDs that I set up, it gives it this nightclub, nightlife effect. On camera, it's not the best effect just because I don't have the best camera. But in person, this is like the coolest experience ever. Taking a shower in this feels like a fucking mini party. I'm not gonna lie. Even here on the floor a little bit, and it really just adds to the bathroom experience. Right behind me, as you can see, I also got matching the colors of the LEDs. I have a nice colorful shower curtain. As you can see, it has this Aurora effect, I guess you can call it. Behind it is gonna be a marble wall. I guess I should mention this. I don't usually come from luxury. I come from Mississippi. If you look up Mississippi, it's known as the poor state. So I don't, I never really experienced these luxury things like having a marble wall or countertop that's made of marble. Like, this is crazy. Look at this. This is a crazy nice countertop, bro. It is a little messy. I get that. Like, it looks, you know, we're not looking good. But down here, though, we're going to have, you know, my toweling area. So I try to keep the towels down here just because I do have to share the space with the roommate because this is the only bathroom we have. So he keeps his towels in his room and I keep my towels that I use down here. Also down here is gonna be cleaning utensils, anything that I need to clean. Over to the right, we're gonna have drawers. I only use one of them though, so it does come with three. One, two, and then this is the third one. This is the only one I use. Um, so I have my Manscaped stuff in here. Also, <sighs> okay. Also, when I didn't drop it all, my flossing stuff, so. It is recommended to floss once or twice a day. It's very important to floss, guys, if you're out there watching, floss. You know, I went to the dentist, they told me that I was getting all type of gum diseases. I don't even know, maybe they're trying to scare me, who knows, but they were telling me that it was because I wasn't flossing, so if you don't floss, go floss. So coming out of the bathroom, next we're gonna come to the main room, but before we go into the main room, I wanna show you guys the kitchen area. As you can see, the kitchen area is not insanely huge. Now, to be honest with you, it's not a problem for me and Jerry, mainly because both of us just can't cook. And actually, let me turn some lights on so you can see. So mo both of us can't cook, so we really don't use the kitchen area, but to be honest with you, it is a pretty nice kitchen area. Coming closer, you can see it does match the countertops of the bathroom. It's all marble with this black and white finish to it. It goes all the way across. Coming over here, I do have an electric stove. Now, I really don't know if electric stoves are more safe than gas stoves, but I do enjoy this more just because it's not as loud. So gas stoves make this sound of like burning and you can smell it. But this, I've only used it once, the six months I've been here, but this stove is really nice. If I turn it on, let's see. It tells you immediately that it turns on, as you can see. And it's quiet, it's so nice, I love, it's so hot. Ooh, I can already feel the heat. Oh, that's so cool. When it is like still hot, it tells you right here. So you cannot burn yourself. I'm a very reckless person. So I would be the type to just put my hand down and burn myself. But luckily it does tell you right here. 
going below, I do have a pretty decently sized oven. So again, I've never used it, but if I ever did want to use it, it does have a lot of space to use. Speaking on cooking and all of that, I was thinking about in the future, so actually down here, since I'm already mentioning it, down here I have a cooking box. Um, these are a bunch of utensils to use for cooking and stuff. I have been thinking about doing, I don't know if I want to do a cooking, like cooking playlist yet, or if I want to just make individual videos and me trying to cook certain foods. I think that would be cool for the channel and like an experience that we can share together with you guys. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like would like to see that. Ubering every single day is so annoying. Like you have no idea how much money I waste. It's literally hundreds and hundreds of dollars just down the drain just because I don't know how to cook. So I definitely want to learn how to cook. Also it comes with this pretty nice sink. So it is kind of dirty and I know I have a styrofoam cup in here don't ask why but you know it is a pretty spacious sink so if i ever do want to get into cooking i have a lot of space to you know just do the washing things up here we do have a samsung microwave i open it up now don't don't come at me i know it's a bit dirty inside that's for a reason there is no good reason i'm just lazy there is a lot of space in here that you can use to cook things and you know whatnot i don't know let's just yeah let's close that up so coming to the main room, this is my favorite spot of the apartment. Well, actually my second favorite spot. We're gonna get to the first one later. Here you can see, this is pretty much where all of my stuff is at. Right behind me is my bedding area. To the right of me is my clothing area. And then right here, we're gonna have the work area. But let's start off with the bedding area. So right behind me, we have my very special queen size bed. So I wanna first mention that I have satin sheets. You know, if you don't know what satin sheets are, let me put you on right quick. Satin sheets are the best invention ever made for bedding. So when I try to sleep, if I'm any kind of uncomfortable or I'm mildly hot, I cannot go to sleep. When I go to sleep, since there's satin, it keeps the coolness like all night long. If there's anybody out there that doesn't know about satin sheets, yo, go get it right now. It will change your life. I don't mention ghost a lot on this channel just because, you know, I forget, but this is the reason i got this is because i've always been attracted to wolves because of the symbolism they give off you know they symbolize you know being alone and being able to persevere and going on the beaten path and being able to survive through that and that's what i really resonate the most with so that's why i got this you know ghost here is like my spirit animal watcher he just he sits up here and just you know observes and he sits there and you know I let him do his thing so up here that's not that is the food. Um, we have all my outlets and stuff. So here we have uh, Apple, the Apple, I don't even know what to call this, but the Apple speaker. I mainly use it when I want to relax on the bed and it literally sits right here. So the music's like perfect in my ear. So, you know, I put on like spot, sometimes I put on the podcast, sometimes I put on music, just depends on the mood. Here I have my outlets, this connects to the speaker and this is for my phone, right? And I can also put other stuff like USB-C, also another full outlet and then, you know, yeah. Over here, I have my MacBook outlet. So I try not to use my MacBook here in the bed, mainly because I try to keep the bed and work separate. So before I got my desk, I'm gonna show you guys that next. Before I got my desk, I used to always edit here in the bed. And honestly, it kind of gave me a work mindset on sleeping because I used to correlate like my bed and sleeping to work because I've always just edited in the bed and did it late at night, which was really a problem. And another big problem is I'm always anxious when I'm trying to sleep and my MacBook's beside me because I'm so tempted to look at my analytics on YouTube and see how my views are doing. I always think, let me look at the last numbers before I go to sleep so when I wake up, I can see if it grows, I can see if I grew or I got more views, which is so fucking bad for the mind state. I had to get a desk, put the work over there to really like be able to enjoy actually sleeping and being in my bed. Like right now, I feel very comfortable. Like I'm laying down, you know, I'm good. I can actually, I can lay down, honestly. Bro, my back is so tight. I didn't even realize that, yo, oof. But you know, I'm able to just lay in the bed now and just relax and not think about work, which is so, so refreshing. Let's get out of the bed. Let's talk about my work area. So over here is the desk area. As you guys can see, pretty nice setup. So here's where I get most of my work done. Behind me is my MacBook where I do all of my editing and all of my YouTube things. Down here is gonna be my PC. This PC is probably the strongest PC there will be in a minute. This is a 4090, 32 gigs of RAM, CPU's on point. It's a really good PC built to myself. But to be honest with you, I really don't use it for you know work or editing or anything, even though I probably should because the 4090 is really strong and I have a really good CPU. So I probably should do it, but honestly I do most of it 
on my MacBook just because I like to use Final Cut for editing. And sadly, you can't use Final Cut on anything other than Apple products, so I can't really use my PC. But I do use it for gaming and like entertainment and stuff and watching movies because I don't have a TV in here. You probably already noticed. There's no TVs on the wall. You know, if I do want to watch a movie or something, I just use my monitor here. Watching movies here and playing video games, best experience ever. You know, this setup is my dream setup. I've always wanted to build like this. Like it literally has the LEDs too. If I turn the light off, actually. At night, this is such a vibe. You know, when I edit or I'm in like my, or I'm in my work mode, I try my best to stay as positive as possible because it's very hard to do YouTube and be creative and come up with videos that's intriguing and people want to watch when you're in a negative mood. So I try my best to keep myself in a pop, I try my best to keep myself in a positive mindset. And you know, having the LEDs and LEDs on the, on the ceiling and stuff really does help me with that. Also, I should mention, this chair here, it's a very special chair indeed. So it has its own little footrest. Let me back it up. Where I can like, you know, chill. Also, oh yeah. So not only do I do work over here, as I said before, I do watch movies, so, you know, having this chair and me being able to like lay back and just put my headphones on and relax is a very nice thing. I've been wanting to build like a setup where I can go to and play games and edit and just have it all in one spot and I finally think I have that. So I guess I should also mention my clothing area. So the only one problem with having a roommate in a one bedroom is it's not a lot of space to go around. Me doing YouTube, I decided that I needed more space, so I did choose that just broke. Bro, and the thing is, I literally just bought this chair and it's, come on, are you joking me? I literally, I literally just bought this chair and built it, you know, it's already broken, but it's whatever. So over here is the clothing area. Now I gotta be honest, most of my clothes are still from when I was living in my hometown. So I really haven't quite caught up with the Miami look. As you can see, you know, this is more the Miami look having, you know, I don't know what to call this, but having whatever this is. If there is anybody out there that's living in a one bedroom with a roommate or whatever, I do recommend getting this kind of setup here because it's so versatile. Literally, if I want to move it, it has wheels on it. And I gotta admit, you know, I used to watch the New York, living in New York, you know, the struggles in New York kind of videos, and it always intrigued me. So I did try to give that New York-esque vibe here. And you can hear my roommate in the background, I'm sorry. But you know, I did try to give that New York look and you know, I think it kind of gives it because Miami is a different culture. I've talked about this a lot of times on the channel, but Miami is not real life, you know, Miami is not like anywhere else I've ever been and I haven't really been to a lot of places But from what I've seen on the internet and just what people talk about Miami is just Miami is its own world You cannot come to Miami thinking, you know, you're gonna live a normal experience. It's not it's not normal Just get out your head. Oh, so here we are back at the main room where we started But there is one last location. I do want to show you guys which is my favorite part of this apartment And to me is one of the main reasons if not the main reason why I decided to move here and that is the balcony. So right behind the camera is my amazing view. I live on the 45th floor, if anybody didn't know. Here you can see is the entire city of Miami. Now living on the 45th floor and having a balcony and being able to see like most of the city and just seeing for miles and miles is one of the most, if you haven't experienced it, you have to experience it at least once in your life. Waking up and having the ability to go to the balcony and just see an amazing view is such a good feeling. Like every morning, not every morning, but a lot of mornings I like to go to the balcony and just meditate or even at night just meditate and just think about the future my goals my plans and how far i've came and as i said it has to be one of my favorite factors of this apartment here we are i would say it's arguably my favorite part of the apartment i have a beautiful view you know i can see literally for miles up here and honestly at night it's probably the most beautiful because of all the lights shimmering it kind of looks like stars and it's really nice to just come out here and be able to just get away from the city because honestly here in Miami it's not a lot of places you can go to to just be alone other than like the bedroom or the bathroom or something the only other place I've been able to find peace is my balcony and holy shit bro the sunset is beautiful like I wish this building wasn't in the way I do want to get a chair out here because I do have an outlet here in the corner as you can see right here I think it'd be so cool if I can just sit out here and edit and just taking the good city vibes a lot of people won't like that like I know there's some people that like the peace and quiet Miami is not like that. Being so high up, all the lights look like little stars from like far away. It's actually a really cool like look. You know, and there's sometimes where I come out here and just vent and pace around and just, you know, just get my thoughts out. You know, that I do, I definitely do need days like that because the hustle and bustle city culture here is, can get very taxing on the mind. So I definitely do need my days where I'm able to just 
mentally detox and get away from work and YouTube and numbers. When I first moved to Miami, I really just didn't know what I was getting myself into. Like, it was so crazy how things happened in a way I could never have imagined. You know, and I get to literally sit here with the fucking city view behind me, which is so still crazy to me. Like, bro, when I was 16 years old, my dream, like my dream life was to live in a major city. I didn't even know like big cities existed until like maybe like 17, 18, like really, like honestly, truly. Growing up, I've always watched movies with New York in it, stuff like Spider-Man or I don't know, any random movie with New York in it because New York is such an amazing city. Up until like 17, 18, I always thought that they made up that city in like the movie or it didn't exist. And I never truly knew until I started watching YouTube and seeing other like real people live in big cities. And I was like, yo, what the fuck is that? I gotta live somewhere like that. So around like 16, 17, I really wanted to live in a major city and be making content. You know, I'm really living out that dream right now. Obviously, you know, I'm not a full-time YouTuber yet. You know, we're here, we're still, I don't wanna say small YouTuber because I don't like using that word, but we're here, you know, we're just doing our thing. And one day, this will be a great, you know, sensation. We made it this far and we can keep it going. Like, I always think to myself positively. Like, there's no point thinking negative because, you know, honestly, negative thoughts don't really get you too far. You know, I used to be very bad in negative thoughts. And honestly, that just caused me to hate myself more than I should have because hating myself and being down on myself didn't get me out of that, you know, rut I was in. But. You know, obviously, you know, I started thinking more positive and we're here now. You know, it really means a lot to know that I have people out there that support and watch and care about me. You know, I care about you guys too. Cheers to my new apartment. You know, we love it here. We live in literally the smack of downtown. I can't, I still can't get over that fact, bro. It's literally a childhood dream. But we're living in the smack of downtown. Anybody that's out there watching, I want to say this right now. If you have a dream and you want to chase something or you believe you can do something and nobody else is really believing in you, I want to say, Fuck all of the noise and just do what you believe because honestly, when you start taking life into your own hands and start pursuing the dreams that you really want to chase, magical things happen. Like, I was not supposed to be here. And even though like, I'm not far from where I come from, this is like a big leap. Nobody in my family has really done something like this. Moved to a major city and started and tried to do something that's bigger than them. You know, I'm like one of the first to ever do it in my family. And to know that I'm taking the footsteps is crazy. And comment below, what is your dream apartment? What do you see? Is it a one bedroom, two bedroom? Is it in LA, Florida, who knows? Where do you want to stay? What's your dream apartment? I want to know you guys. To me, I love hearing inspirational stories and you guys' and dreams and goals. For me, guys, that's pretty much it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. You know, we have so many more great videos coming out. You know, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the content. But for me, that's going to be it. I love you guys.